Hi and welcome to Adam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can create a health bar for your iPhone game using Coco's 2D framework. So if I run my application right now um, you will see that it has two links or two basically menu items. If you are unfamiliar how to create uh, menus then please go ahead and check out part number six uh, in which I have explained in the detail how you can create menus. So here are two links, hit and miss. And basically what we want to do is to display a health bar, a horizontal health bar over here. And when we click on hit, the health bar goes down because uh, you know we are taking damage, I guess. And when we say miss, then our health bar basically goes up. Let's say we have uh, taken some fuel or uh, something, anything, you know, in a game, power ups or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already hooked up the hit and miss uh, uh, labels to the hit and miss actions that are over here but we are going to use a CC progress timer for our health bar and CC progress timer is a, is a class it's contained in the Coco Studio framework and it makes it very easy to display a part of the image okay I've already uh, exposed the CC progress timer as a property so we're going to use that and uh, let me see okay so uh, we haven't actually declared it over here so it's not going to be displayed so let me go ahead and uh, you know create CC progress timer so we have self dot progress timer equal to CC progress timer and uh, using this class I mean you can pretty easily you can uh, you know build the uh, kind of like a loading screen or a health bar health uh, dash bar dot png okay um, another thing that we need to add is the type like uh, what type of health bar is this because CC progress uh, timer can be of uh, different types okay so we are going to say the KCC progress timer and we have, have to use the horizontal bar LR which is uh, LR left right okay uh, we have to give it the percentage so I'm just gonna say dot percentage initially the percentage will be 100 because uh, we want to show the whole health bar okay and since the image that I'm using is very small the, gre the, the green health bar image okay so I'm just going to scale it up most probably in your app it's a good idea to use uh, you know a set or a nice image and do uh, not scaling the image I think scale also performs some performance uh, you know hit let's go ahead and self dot now we will place it so where do we want to place it I'm just gonna say we're going to place it in the middle of the screen so window size dot width divided by 2 and window size dot height divided by 2 last thing uh, we're just going to add it to our layer which is a self dot progress timer here we go okay and uh, actually we can set this up to self dot life since that is also 100 so let's run this and see our health bar appearing in the middle of the screen now you can see the health bar over here it's a green health bar and it appears in the middle of the screen and I want that when I click the hit button the health bar actually goes down because we are taking damage once again and miss will it will allow it to go up okay so we have to implement these methods which will be triggered once I click the hit or uh, miss basically uh, things so I can simply say if self dot life is greater than zero so if greater than zero then self dot life minus equal to 25 and um, after that I can simply say self dot progress timer uh, set percentage and you can set the percentage which is self dot life okay let's build this 
and let's also build for the myth one that what will happen when you when you don't uh, you know when you do, when you miss the target or you, when you take the power ups or something like that self dot life is less than 100 then we'll say self dot life plus equal to 25 and self dot progress timer set percentage to self dot life okay and so let's run this so I'll say hit and you can see it's going down miss is going up and pretty much that uh, you know you can see how the health bar actually works it's pretty easy to do and you are taking power-ups now so that's pretty much it it's it's actually a good idea that when you hit again and now it's now only 20 25 percent remaining then you can go ahead and change the color or substitute it with some red bar indicating that critical health okay um, like I think if I have to let's see uh, well if self dot life is less than equal to 25 then uh, I think I can change the self dot progress timer and set sprite okay set sprite and then you can set the sprite uh, I wonder if this uh, image what will have I guess we can use a set sprite and uh, I haven't used this actually so let's see sprite and sprite with file um, and then you can do it's red held uh, bar dot png okay and uh, self dot progress timer set scale uh, what is that we set it to 10 or something or let's see the, what the scale I said I wrote for God 5 cannot over here over here 5 here we go um, okay now let's build this and see what happens I'm not sure it's I'm not sure if it's going to work correctly or not but we'll see there we go but of course now the color is uh, red altogether which you don't really want you want now you have to implement the miss method and when it's greater than 25 percent remaining you want to change it back to green so you can do that that's pretty much assignment for you so that's pretty much it and uh, if you want to see how it's actually implemented uh, go to github.com and let's see what my channel is actually on github so github.com slash Adam sharp and you will see you will see the game it's called desert race okay and you, you can see the whole code and you can see that how the health bar is uh, implemented also you can go to highoncoding.com and read the articles over there in which I have explained that uh, how the health bar system actually works so these are the article creating creating a vertical scrolling car game using Coco Studio so just check them out hope you like this video thank you very much